Consider the function sine of y is equal to xy. If we want to find what y prime is, we can use implicit differentiation. We're just going to look at this, look at this equation, and we're going to calculate the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So we'll just do d dx to both sides of this guy. For the left-hand side, we're going to need to use the chain rule. The derivative of sine is cosine, and we'll leave that inside function y the same, but it times it by the derivative of the inside function, the derivative of y, which we're denoting y prime. Now for the right-hand side, we have a product. So let's use the product rule. Hold the first, take the derivative of the second. The derivative of y becomes y prime. Plus, take the derivative of x, which is 1, times, leave the second one the same, which is just y. And so we get cosine of y times y prime equals xy prime plus y. Next step, let's get all those y prime pieces on the same side. So that will give me... Uh, cosine of y, y prime, minus an x, y prime, leaving me something equal to y. Why did I do that? Well, now that all the pieces on the left-hand side have a y prime, I can factor out that y prime. Give me y prime, cosine of y, minus x, is y. And then you can divide by that term to get what y prime is y prime is just y divided by cosine of y minus x. Now that we have y prime, you might be satisfied, but why stop there? Let's go on to calculate y double prime, the second derivative. We'll need to make use of implicit differentiation again. Notice, since we know what y prime is, we can say y double prime will just be the derivative of y prime. So that's just going to be the derivative of this quotient. y divided by cosine of y minus x. So we'll need to make generous use of the quotient rule. Let's hold the bottom, cosine of y minus x, and times that all by the derivative of the top, the derivative of y is just y prime minus, stay with me, hold the top y times the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of cosine is minus sine, so it's minus sine of y, but by the chain rule, we need to multiply that by the derivative of the inside, the derivative of y, which is y prime, minus the derivative of x, which is 1. Then all over, we're doing quotient rule, the bottom squared cosine of y minus x squared. Pretty good, but notice our answer has x's and y's and y primes. Yet we know what y prime is, so we can plug our value for y prime into the solution. Wherever we see a y prime, we're just going to plug in what we know y prime to be, y divided by cosine of y minus x. So this becomes cosine of y minus x, all times y prime, hence all times y over cosine of y minus x, minus y times, well that's a minus sign, let me pull a minus out to make this plus, sine of y times y prime, so that y prime here is just y over cosine of y minus x, then it was minus 1, but I pulled the minus out to make it plus, so it's plus 1, all over cosine of y minus x squared on the bottom. Now, you could simplify things a little bit. For instance, the cosine of y minus x here and here just cancel. And then you can combine this all into a single fraction, and you can simplify things a little bit. But, but I'm somewhat satisfied with how this is, so I'll leave it here. You should probably, you should probably simplify it to, to make it just a single fraction, so you can combine this into a single fraction, divide it out, simplify the result, but, but there's the idea. Once you have the derivative, you can just take the derivative of that and then keep using your implicit differentiation. Remember, whenever you have a y, its derivative is just y prime, and once you get y primes in your result, you can replace those 
with what you already know y prime is. You could go on from here and find the third derivative, the fourth derivative, and so on, but it gets really messy really fast.